guys, James Sinclair here. This is a Secrets of Success video, which is like a, a younger brother, a younger sister of the main vlog, Backstage Business, but make sure you check out Backstage Business. That's more of a relationship building vlog where you get to see me running my companies. And here on Secrets of Success, we pick a particular subject and we drill into it in a little bit more detail so that you can implement the stuff straight into business. Now, the thing I want to talk to you today about is this little thing here, ACV. And it's one of our one of our top three KPI rules in business. And this one is the one we're going to drill into today. It's uh, KPI number two of the three KPI rule. Let's talk about average customer value. So, average customer value is something that all businesses need to be tracking. Now, I get some businesses that are in the B2B market and they go, oh, this is not applying to me. Absolutely tosh. No, it does apply to you. B2B um, or B2C, whatever you're in, this stuff is so important that you're tracking your average customer value. So if you're an accountant and you turn a million pounds a year, uh, let's just write that up. You turn a million pounds a year and you've got two customers, then your average customer value is 500,000 pounds. What you want to be doing, this is definitely the management in an organization. They're the ones responsible for average customer value. They're the ones that can increase it by two or three percent. And usually when you increase your average customer value by two or three percent, that's usually, as a rule of thumb, a big chunk of that two or three percent increase will be bottom line profit so it's because usually in most businesses there's the wages are paid for the business rates are paid for the overheads are paid for so any increase in ACV is a really fantastic thing that you can do for your business now how do you start increasing your average customer value number one you make it culture of your business there's something that you talk about on a continual basis it cannot be something that spoke about like you watch this video and then tomorrow you say right we need to track our average customer value you work it all out and then you forget it and then you don't see the video again in six months you talk about. it needs to be a daily cultural thing that spoke about in your business from the top down to the managers to the senior management to your middle management right down to the every single team member needs to have this culturized in the business that is how you start increasing average customer value is by talking about average customer value as a culture in the business that is I mean if you can get that achieved then that's really fantastic so how do we do that in our business well we have um, a what we call weekly income sheet or a deal is a daily income sheet so all of our sites and locations they send in what their takings are for the day um, <coughs> they put the customer count so we own locations, customers come through to us. Um, so, so it's important that we do it on a daily basis. But if you're an accountant or a solicitor, you could do it on a monthly or an annual basis or a quarterly basis. We do it on an annual basis as well as a daily basis and on a monthly basis. We do it on so many different bases because we think it's so, so important. But you, you get your weekly income sheet or your daily income sheet and you divide your turnover by your amount of customers. That's your basic average customer value. And it's working about how we can increase it. Now, why I love average customer value is if it goes down and your turnover has gone up that means your customer service isn't great but this happens so much in businesses when they really get going and turnovers going up sales are going up their average customer value goes down you can see this on um, if you go to um, a, a shop that's um, that's brand new and opened and they've got a thousand customers going in there and there's not enough staff to serve the customers but they're still doing loads of sales it's about getting the efficiency of those sales and really great customer service that can drive average customer value up queues in business there's another thing that you can find out from tracking your ACV. If you get a really busy fast food restaurant, for example, and there's a big queue, um, that will stop people wanting to spend more money with you because they feel agitated because they're not relaxed. And it's all these things, you know, and it's about the training that can really increase average customer value. What I really wanted to get over in this Secrets of Success video is making average customer value and tracking it a cultural thing of your business. Once you make it a cultural thing of your business, you're on the first steps to improve it. Now, keep watching my videos in the future and I'll give you more strategies and tactics on how you can improve it. But number one is make it a cultural thing of your business. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Now, if you want to learn more about growing your business or any entrepreneurial success, why don't you let one of my team, one of my business coaches, get on the phone to you to help you grow your business. And it's absolutely free. All you need to do is book your free call with one of my coaches at www.freecoachingcall.co.uk is the URL. See you on the other side. Bye-bye.